Okay, so the reason we do not kill RC vans in crash of cars, skirmish, blitz mode, and TDM is when you do, it does not count as like a point. So basically, if you like go for example and kill the RC van, you risk yourself dying, and you also and you also waste your time because you get no points. So kind of a good waste of time killing RC vans. Is if they're attacking, yes, kill it. But that's the only reason you should be killing RC events. If you're going around killing them for points, you know. And they're gonna be a bit different point. The reason you not kill players with high scores and crash with cars, blitz mode is when you do, you get the same amount of points as killing someone with a lower point level. And you're way more likely to die to someone that has a higher point level because they're better at the game than someone with a lower point level. The reason you do not follow players for absolute ages and blitz mode is, is if there's multiple players following the player, it gradually ends up the other player will probably end up killing him and not you and you just waste your time not getting a point and you're also likely to die to the person you're chasing. This tip is mainly for new players, but it's good for some pro players to take it. The reason you do not kill pro players is because you are way more likely to die and get the same reward blitz mode. Any crowd mode you don't get any rewards. And even better, just go around the back and collect crowns. The reason you should stick to the outside of the map is that you are less likely to die and you're less likely to get hit by bullets. What?